Scruffy Audio Network. Yo. All right. Yo. Okay, I just want to let you know that I have not done any preparation on this. Well, that's so a shocker. I, pr- I usually You've prepare a lot. About the last I prepare eight. a lot. <laughs> just not this time because I don't know anything about Peru. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And we got special guests and all that stuff. So. Yeah. Okay. You ready to get started on this? Yeah. When is the last place that you went to that we actually talked about? I, don't I feel know. like I I've been back. carrying us. I had to go back and look at our podcast. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's been a while. Yeah. I'm getting ready to go to Tuscany now. Yeah, you I are. Know that. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. Hey, welcome to Why Would You Go There? A podcast about travel. Uh, I am Troy, and I'm here with uh, my best partner, Lee. What do you mean by partner? Yeah, well, my best partner. Uh, Not my (laughs) only partner, just my best. (laughs) Eat your heart out, Georgette. (laughs) It had nothing to do with Georgette. Calm down, calm down. Uh, And not partner in that sense. I asked you. I just meant partner, like working partner. Oh, okay. Okay, anyway. uh, Today we're going to talk about what city? Peru. Peru is oh, wait, not a, a city. Wait, yes. what country? <laughs> Peru. Peru. Yeah, okay. Hey. We have a special guest here, and one of the special guests knew what to do. The other one just kind of sat there. Listen, well, first you of, said what city. And I, I know, like, and then I backed up and I said what country. Peru. Yeah, <laughs> and I backed up. Uh, usually we do do cities, uh, but this time we are, uh, we're we're doing the whole country. And you guys just got back from Peru, but before... before Oh man, Ben edited that out. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, where's my, where's my? Yeah, okay. Uh, uh, we have. Where are the crickets? Yeah. yeah okay. That's awesome. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I want inter- to introduce yourselves. You, this is my uh, daughter and son-in-law. Uh, and and yes, if, his... for those of you who are thinking I am too young to have a daughter and son-in-law, you're right. Yeah. Uh, but I'm I'm only 38. But they, they, and they're really young. Yeah. Wow. And I'm 31. No, I'm, <laughs> I'm the best daughter. Uh, oh. that he forgot to say, uh, Shakita. Yeah. <laughs> um, my name is Gene. I am working on becoming the favorite in the family. <laughs> <laughs> Taking some time. Still got a ways to go, Gene. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, but anyway, you guys are here because you just uh, got finished with this huge trip to Peru, where you did Machu Picchu, yeah. Cusco, Lima, all that. Kind of stuff. So you're really teaching us because Lee nor I have either one been Correct. to South America, yeah. and neither one of us has definitely not been to Peru, which actually is in South America. Um, yeah. For you people that don't, and know. it's on your list, right? It is on my list of things Same to do. Here. But like Australia, I've heard a tiny bit about Peru so far, and it may be moving way down the list <laughs> wow. uh, as this thing goes on. Uh, this is. That's I don't the, know if I want to hear that's this. The it's in my mind. Why, so enchanting. This, this is the oh. reason why uh, I'm not on. I haven't gone to any of these places because apparently they all stink. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> no, they did. It, it doesn't stink. It's not a luxury trip. Oh, no. Not, well, no. I think I think you could you could you could set it up in a way to be a little luxurious. Um, but just the nature of the country and the cities that we were in, which was Lima, the capital, and Cusco, it is a lot of work. Just to walk around. Oh yeah. So oh, yeah. gotta yeah. get your cardio in before. Nope. Get your Done. endurance up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they, I know that they're going to talk later about it. There's trains yeah. and stuff like yes. that. So if I can just walk to the train station and then get on the train, that might work out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, right. so why don't you ta- start by telling us about uh, the the company that you used and your flight over and all that kind of stuff. Tell me why you chose Peru. Oh yeah, too. great. Well, Greatly. Peru has always been sort of on our radar as um, it's one of the great wonders of the world. It's a very spiritual site. Uh, Shakita and I always wanted to go to South America. It was actually, initially, it was our honeymoon plan. We wanted to do it for our honeymoon. Oh, yeah, yeah. But we got the Ten option. Ten grand. Mm-mm. Yeah, we got the option for California. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And we, we was like, we'll do this now. We'll do Peru later. Because we wanted to be able to do the full trip. I mean, we were there for 14 days. So oh, that's... Yeah. For our first time out of the country, that was... That and was it wasn't big. just us. We went with two other uh, couple, yeah, couple, John and Heather. And so we were sort of, like you guys were, we were trying to figure out where we were going to get the best price. Mm-hmm. And all of a sudden, we got the price alert. It was 12, 1200 for both of us there and back. We're like, okay, cool, let's do it. flight. Yep. Okay. Now, yeah. m- meanwhile, there's some things sort of happening in our personal lives as far as work and moving 
We oh, didn't yeah, realize we, that the dates were going to fall <laughs> on the day we're moving. We didn't plan very well in regards to the timing of this trip. That is a shock. Yeah. Which, <laughs> you guys usually plan everything. I know. Well. Which is weird. We knew, honestly, last year, we knew it was all going to kind of fall, like it was all going to funnel into this same time frame, but we did not realize exactly how close everything was going to, how we were going to We literally it. moved out of our house, yeah. and then a week later, we, we were on, on a flight trip. to Peru. Yeah. So we're technically homeless in Peru. Yeah. And um, it was awesome. (laughs) It was amazing. So the trekking company, um, Salkantai Trekking Company, and Salkantai is the name of uh, the largest mountain there. It's Savage Mountain. Um, So that's the name. Oh, my gosh. It's already sounding terrible. (laughs) I mean, it is savage. That's the namesake of this this trekking company. And we highly recommend the trekking company if you do want to go for a type of trek. And there's other options. We did a five-day trek, but they're four-day, three-day. They're shorter treks. A little less intense treks, um, but they all go along one of the two. Are they segway treks? Because that's a, that's a trek I want. When, <laughs> when you get on one of those segways, <laughs> llama. Troy wants to ride one of those llamas around. He's yeah, not, I do. He, yeah, he's not I do. walking anywhere. There you were donkeys. Could, yeah, you could ride a pack mule. There were people yeah. that rode pack mule. I mean, that some sounds really... like groin problems. I need to stand up on that segway. <laughs> you don't want to ride a segway up those switchbacks. No, you could. <laughs> I barely wanted to walk up that thing. It's intense. I can say horse poop, right? Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah, Um, So we we loved we loved the trekking company. Um, The five days that we booked, it was five days, four nights. It was all inclusive, so that means they fed us three times a day, like five course meals. Oh wow! Amazing meals. Very good. You want to talk about the The food? International (laughs) chef. That's what he kept calling this guy. I mean, every meal was so unique. It was like uh, you felt like you were tasting something from Italy. There was something from America. He would have a, d- a dish that was local. And they would always tell you it was like snake <laughs> or donkey or condor. But it's not. It's just chicken or fish. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. It really wants to freak you out. And I was so always freaked out. It was, it, was, it was prepared there. You didn't have a choice or anything right. So, yeah, Ooh, no. you have to let them know like allergies or anything like that. Yeah, you just sort of I did that at we, the table. No, I, I think we I, – actually, I think there was a place when we uh, signed up for our trek and we were filling out our information. There was a place there to write any types of food allergies. Yeah, cool. Well beforehand, I think, so he could plan. Because all the – there's there's several different groups once you uh, begin the trek that kind of share space with you. Um, they have their own guide. They yeah. have their own chef. Um, but you could kind of see a little bit of what the other groups were doing. All of the chefs were preparing their own meals. This, oh, yeah. We ate completely different things than the other groups. It wasn't like a set menu. They changed based off of what's in season. It was sort of like being with a big family. Your family was the people you were trekking with, and then there were other families there. Same okay. tent, but you didn't really mix and mingle. So how oh, many, yeah, how I don't many... mix with other families. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm in my family's mix, yeah. but I don't yeah. mix. <laughs> so, how many, yeah. so how many people were actually yeah. in the... In your, it was trek. eight. Yeah, uh, okay, eight. yeah. When we first got there, it was me, Shakita, John, and Heather. So we knew each other. Yeah, and then the rest were all couples, but we they were also Greek strangers. Couple. Yeah, we People had a Greece. Canadian couple and a German couple. Some which Canadian. that does awesome. that adds up to more than eight. Yeah. <laughs> so we had two, four, six, eight. Oh yeah, there were ten, yeah. <laughs> there were ten. <laughs> including us. There were eight additional. Oh, I was okay. counting the others. Oh, way to clarify. So there were eight, in, there were yeah. eight additional. That, eight you mean way to save it? Way to save it. <laughs> so yeah. what? So these other tents and stuff, these other places are right near you, right beside you, also like these other people. But you ten are sharing one. No, so okay. we uh, the first the first stop on the trek, we um, we were up in the mountains. We had a sky dome, which is awesome. This is this is a pentagon. Oh, shape. the biodome. Yeah, yeah, the biodome. Uh, before we get too deep into the domes, maybe we should get into the altitude sickness in Cusco because it's so it. important. Man. Is that what you want to talk about? Yeah, it's so Do important. It. Why is it so yeah. important? So when you first go, uh, okay, I'm going to go to Machu Picchu. That's going to be fun. No, altitude sickness is an issue. It's something that you have to take into account. Um, you have to go to Cusco for at least a day to three days to acclimate. Yeah. Oh, wow. Because if you just go to Cusco and then go up Machu Picchu, you're going to have a headache, nausea, vomiting, uh, diarrhea. It's bad. It's really bad. So how many of those days are you supposed to be drunk? 
<laughs> None. You do not want to drink. We when were so out. afraid to drink. We were so afraid to drink. No, you don't want to drink. We didn't drink until because after you have a throbbing trip. headache already. It's in the back wow. of your head. There's nothing you can do about I it. I get a throbbing headache if I don't, don't drink. So uh, <laughs> there you go. That might help. There were a few people that. on the trek with beers. Maybe that's <laughs> how you deal with it. <laughs> no, I'm gonna need something stronger than beer. <laughs> your doctor can actually prescribe yeah, you altitude medication. Um, me personally, yeah, it's Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you could get it through, yeah. oh, through customs. I I am very into like natural stuff and I actually got a little sick before we went before we even flew out to Lima. So I was taking all of these natural things. I was taking a homeopathic for cold and headaches. I was taking some turmeric for inflammation. Um, and I was taking a vitamin C pack that had all my minerals in it. So I was pounding this stuff days before the entire time we were in Lima and on the flight to uh, Cusco. And I did not suffer from any altitude sickness. She didn't. Um, the other couple that was with us, the guy, he got pretty sick too. The girl had prescription meds. So she didn't get anything too bad. She had the meds. The guy was bad off. Gene was bad off. I was all right. So, so the guys are wimps, is what you're saying. Of course, yes, bad. the guys it was real bad. were huge babies. It was. There were two bathrooms. One was our bathroom, and the other was like the you can actually use the restroom uh, and not pass out. Because that bathroom was rough. <laughs> that first night was rough. I lost seven pounds. Oh, wow. Did. In three really days. Did. Oh, wow. Okay, so yeah. now we That can... sounds... You're, met, you're really right? Right, that's yeah. what I'm saying. This yeah. is why you should go here. Yeah. I'm telling you. Um, I look at uh, our experience in three stages. You got the spiritual aspect of it. You got a physical aspect, which is huge. And then you got financial. Like, if you go there financially stable then that's half your worries are gone. Everything's super cheap. Yeah, the is. soul is three times, let's see, like uh, 20 souls is like eight bucks. So you go there, everything's 20 souls. It's one soul to use the restroom. You can't just <laughs> yeah, go yeah, to the bathroom. To, yeah, you got to pay for that. Room. And you might want to bring your own toilet paper yes. because they have actual paper, which will cut you up. <laughs> and you can't flush it because <laughs> it's paper. Flush yeah. it. No, oh, it's, uh, every sign, it's every bathroom, do not flush toilet paper. But um, the spiritual aspect of it is every site that you go to along the trek, your guide will educate you on how it's sacred to the Inca. And the Inca, we found out, is not just the name of the culture. It was the king. The king was the Inca. Inca means king. And so he would explain how people would bring uh, offerings and blessings so many miles up to this place, and then we would perform a ritual of our own. There was no blood. There was just <laughs> no human sacrifices. <laughs> no human sacrifices. <laughs> we use rocks and we use coca leaves and like this holy water that he prepared. So uh, you have that aspect, and then the physical. Oh man, um, I don't really train. I don't really work out and do stuff like that. Shakita does, but uh, it was the hardest thing I've ever done physically. Wow. But you got, I mean, you all look in shape, obviously. Yeah. And Gene I mean, is, I mean, he says it doesn't work out yeah. that much, but he's he's physical for his job yeah. and he's in, in good shape. He says he doesn't work out, yeah. but anytime something comes up that I'm training for, that he jumps in and doesn't train for, yeah. he does perfectly well. I'm like, yeah. you oh, yeah. genetics, man. You yeah. suck. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I trained I've seen for him. months. What was that race that y'all did a long <laughs> the time tough ago? Yeah, oh, yeah. The Tough Mudder. He hopped mutter. in a 12 and a half. Mile race full of obstacles and just did it, no training. Yeah. Oh, and I was wow. like, yeah. really? Yeah. So he isn't. He isn't. <laughs> yeah. It's shape. definitely mind over matter. But this, if this is the toughest thing you've ever done, oh yeah, no, far. I'm off the list. <laughs> I'm off the list. But I'm there's other you. options. Yes, That's I know. We got to get to the train option. I wish yeah. people <laughs> could train. I wish they could see them so they could see like how. Well, we can take a picture. Fit. Yeah. Well, we will. Well, when this is over, we'll take a picture. Oh Oh yeah. So the the funny thing is the only thing that I didn't like about the trekking company was that that they they did not I feel like explain in detail enough um, how difficult it was. Um, and I think that was partially because like they wanted saying, to sucker you in there. Maybe, Seriously. maybe they were just like, let's just get the people here. And then when they can't hike and they need to take these alternative things, they can pay for it. I don't know. Oh yeah. Because they did it was not. always an option. I think it says on the, um, on the information that it's like intermediate to like moderate or something. Difficulty. It doesn't say it's advanced. Yeah, it's not true. <laughs> and it's because there's other options. You don't have to hike the whole thing. If you get out there one day and your feet are blistered up from the night before you broke in a toe, which did happen on our trek for some people, 
and you need to not walk, <laughs> there's a pack mule. They're like, hey, you can hop on this 120 souls. Yeah. You can hop on this pack mule. 120 souls? 120. You just said everything was 20 souls a minute ago. Except on <laughs> the track. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Except Once, on the track. Listen, there, you can the walk mule. all the way down this hill by yourself, <laughs> yep. or you can pay the 120 souls to get on this donkey. The alternate oh, you're on the donkey? Are... It's 120 souls to get off. <laughs> <laughs> The alternate routes for the alternate op- the options for uh, the travel were a little more expensive. Like the train, uh-huh. um, we actually paid forty. There was no, we didn't pay because we didn't take that option. But there was an option to take a train for the la- the last day. There was about when everybody's worn out. Everybody's oh, yeah. exhausted. And they, yeah, they're like, oh yeah, oh I, yeah. There here's was my like, wallet. Just give me on that train. <laughs> yeah, that's so People true. People pay forty dollars American dollars for this train yeah. at this point, and yeah. everybody did it. It was only me and Gene and. Two guys that decided to exactly do the, walk. the tough people. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and honestly, I did it because I didn't want to spend the money on the train. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nah, man, we paid for this. Let's yeah, just that's do it. that's the Lee option. Yeah, no, no forget that. Yeah. I can walk. Yeah. I can so walk true, two miles yeah. across this parking lot. <laughs> so true. Meet you there. Get there eventually. <laughs> so, okay, so we've talked about uh, the flight, and did you did you guys want to talk a little bit about Lima itself and Cusco itself? Um, Lima, Lima was a beautiful city. Um, it's right by the water. It's just, it was winter time when we got there. Oh yeah. Talk about that. You definitely have to talk about seasons. The season. So we just got back and right now it's, it's the beginning of October. It's the beginning of fall. Which is the beginning of their rainy season. Okay. So if you're wanting to book this, do not book it in the fall season because it's In our fall. Don't book it in our fall. fall. In our fall. Super rainy. The trek's very dangerous and not fun because you don't want to be out there when it's raining. We got so lucky. We didn't have any rain. Um, but this the time that we went is their busy season, and it's considered their winter. So from June till until September. Yep. Until September, it's but their honestly, winter. Um, Lima was more. What's the word? It's a huge city. You got a lot of cars, a lot, a lot of traffic, of a lot of people. Everyone's yeah. blowing their horn and right beside each other, but no one wrecks. No wrecks. It's amazing. <laughs> They're very. Oh, yeah, I love that. that sounds terrible. like European country. Yeah, I love those. Yeah. those yeah. Yeah. They're countries driving like, like crazy. It's, it's it's terrifying. Actually, that's every country. <laughs> it's Asian yeah, countries yeah, are that have way you been too. through Knoxville? Have yeah. <laughs> 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 you been through Knoxville at five oh five? But you know what's different oh, yeah. in America. Is that you constantly see wrecks? Yeah. There in the, in Lima in all of Peru that we visited, there's crazy driving, insane stuff going on on the road. But no I wrecks. think the reason is because everybody outside of this country drives like Lee and I. Yeah. Which and if everybody in this oh country drove gosh. like Lee and I, people mm-hmm. would get there a lot faster and a lot safer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Aggressive. Sure. Yeah. With high yeah. blood pressure. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't have, I don't have a high blood pressure. I love dodging cars. You love it. You I enjoy love dodging cars. Oh, I, I yeah. do. He's fitting good in Lima, man. Yeah, right? Jeez. I can't wait till we get to Italy. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And don't don't you drive on the opposite side of the or the opposite side of the car? I know you do. Not, not Italy. in Italy. No, not in Italy. A bunch of those over there, but not in Italy. Oh, yeah. Cool. There were a lot of cars I'd never seen before there. Um, Chinese brands. I didn't know China made cars. Um, multiple. There were like barely any Chevys or any like local cars, but a lot of Toyotas. Really okay. good cars. Yeah, a lot of Toyotas. Yeah, so um, I was I loved Lima. Yeah. I thought the part that we spent time in was beautiful. We were kind of like in the downtown. And Jim area. was sick the whole time. He was sick. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, so that's why he didn't like. In it. Lima, Lima, I wasn't necessarily sick. Oh yet. no, yeah, you weren't sick. I yet. got sick in Cusco. No, I was oh, okay. sick. I was she sick. She was Lima. sick. I had a really bad head Lima. cold. And then she hit a this cabinet. Is, oh yeah. So this is the the <laughs> head cold thing is coming on from. The, the, you were before, getting over that. I was getting over before. it. Yeah, okay, I was okay. getting over it, and then I had a minor accident. Yeah. where I was in the kitchen of one of our Airbnbs and everything hangs really low because they're really short over there. So there's this low-hanging cabinet and I turn left to throw something away and then I turn right to walk off and I ran right into this hanging cabinet right here. Oh, yeah. That's what's wrong with your nose. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It yeah. Not, well, two things are wrong with my nose. <laughs> we'll talk about the other thing in a minute. Well, three. <laughs> three. <laughs> three. What? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> See what I deal with here. I'm not, I'm not. So it knocked me out, and it was bleeding, and I was afraid I broke it. It knocked you out. It was oh, an aggressive God. turn, man. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Like seriously, I'm, I'm messing sitting, around. You guys, <laughs> you guys should have seen it. I'm sitting here. She's in the kitchen. I have a direct sight, and she stands up and just boom, and she's on the ground. I'm like, how did you? 
I, I ran to her to make sure she was okay, but she knocked herself out. Yeah. Wow. And then when you got done laughing, you helped, you, you woke her up. <laughs> he it was had a to laugh in private because he was just it was, like. It was bad. There was blood. It was. <laughs> I cried. It was yeah. painful. So she oh, had, I feel bad It was now. painful. So now she has a headache, like <laughs> yeah, a so pounding I had a really headache. Bad headache. And this happened the morning we were concussion. flying to Lincoln. Yeah. I was did. afraid. I was afraid I had a mild concussion. Yeah. So again, I'm popping all kind of stuff, taking all kind of meds. I think it saved my life because because I was smooth sailing through Cusco. It saved my life. I think I it love did. It. Yeah. So, uh, oh, my favorite thing about Lima though was where we visited. Um, we visited a couple of their national parks, um, and they were all kind of right next to each other along the water. Middle of the day on a Tuesday, mm. every it, they were packed. So many people outside just enjoying these parks. Kids, adults. I'm like, why is nobody in school? Yeah, it was beautiful, <laughs> though. It was awesome. I was like, this is, I would like to live in a place like this. Like, so yeah. what, what, what kind of national park? Like, what does it there, have? Um, okay, so a lot of open space tons of tennis courts i don't know if tennis is a thing there it might apparently be. it is it yeah, must yeah. be a thing because there's tons of tennis courts kids training on all of them like like legit like way better than i've ever been little kids playing tennis um there's a park of love the, yeah the park of love they got a statue of these lovers holding each other kissing and then there's crepes with like little crepes hearts everywhere. crepes everywhere wow oh they man love they crepes. love crepes really yeah, crepes yeah. everywhere we wow. i had crepes like every day Oh, yeah. And the fruit, the fruit was so fresh. They were like, we don't have organic fruit. Everything's organic. <laughs> yeah, like, just, we don't have to worry about organic. GMOs. Yeah. It's just. And, gro- and the fruit growing at a higher altitude for some reason. Mm. And we found this out a week before our trek. We were we watched uh, Gordon. Gordon Ramsay. We watched Gordon Ramsay's new show. Have you guys seen that? The one where he travels? No. Yes. Oh, yes. that's awesome. It. His first episode was Peru. Oh. So we were Island. super wow. excited. Mm-hmm. So we watched it, and he was talking about the ele- how the elevation um, it, the it releases the antioxidants a little differently or something like that. So the fruit's sweeter. It really yeah. is. Everything's oh, sweeter. Wow. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah. Very cool. Really That's good cool. stuff. Wow. And we went to the uh, our first place was the Holiday Inn. The breakfast had they had a buffet, all kinds of fruit. He had us try what was that specific fruit? It was a um. There's a different name for it, but it's passion fruit. It's a type of passion. It's a type fruit. of passion. You fruit. crack it open with your forehead. Yeah, you, you take it. You Let me to, tell you, Jane, you he was to. messing with you. You don't have to do that. You, you do to. not have to you do have that. To, man. Ruin it if you, you don't. You offend the gods <laughs> if you don't. Oh yeah, Shakita, no wonder you had a headache. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I just got uh, concussed. Let me <laughs> crack this over my head now. I gotta do what you gotta do. Oh, I love this laugh track. Uh, okay, so uh, so Lima and then Coos Coos. <laughs> couscous. I call it couscous, couscous a million yeah, times. She I did, did it a so million times. She did. Are we based? Couscous. Yeah. So Cusco, uh, somebody's got a concussion, and the other one's got uh, Di- elevation sickness, diarrhea, yeah. vomiting. You can't say diarrhea on the I on the said, podcast. I Sorry. told him before we came in not to say diarrhea. <laughs> well, we me, said man. it four times now. Like, hey, you know, it's fine. Sheesh. It's fine. You were just you're sick. That's fine. That's fine. It was real bad. Just messing with you. No. Um, oh, so, okay. So one thing I want to I want to point out um, before we run out of time is this the other option. Yeah. For um, the actual hike, so we where we started. We took, it was about a little over 50 miles to hike. 15. 50. 50. 50. 50 miles. A little over 50. And how many days? Five. And you're hiking in 10 miles. I don't miles walk 10 miles a, miles a day. Yeah. Very, very high, steep inclines and <laughs> rocky no descents. People get yeah. Yeah. It was sick. It was intense. Mm-hmm. But you, if you don't do a hike, you can fly in from uh, Lima. To this, uh, Aguas Caliente. Yes, Aguas that's Caliente. the city that um, Machu Picchu is in. So you can fly up to this city. This city is so cute. It it looks like I bet it looks Gatlinburg. cute coming in on a plane instead of trekking <laughs> up a mountain to it. So cute, buddy. <laughs> it looks like Gatlinburg. Oh yeah, like we got a, we got a Gatlinburg feel up there. Yeah. It was okay. awesome. Mm-hmm. Um, and you from this place, you want to buy your bus ticket the night before. For um, Machu Picchu, because if you wait the morning of, at, kid you not, at five o'clock in the morning, the line's wrapped around the block. It's like a mile oh, long. It's yep. insane. And this is. Oh, you can get on TripAdvisor and get your ticket in advance. Or from you can get your. Yeah, I bet you can. Yeah, you probably maybe. Yep. You we, think so? we need to check that out and make sure. Because this is this is why I say not 
possibly because we went through a trekking company. All of our stuff was already done for us, but we had to go buy the bus ticket. We had to go do that separate. Okay. Mm-hmm. And the bus runs, I think, at 430, the first bus. You want to get on that first or second yeah. bus. Because when you those pictures you see people taking to Machu yeah. Picchu, they have special permission. Because Machu Picchu looks like Disney World at about 6 in the morning. Mm-hmm. I bet. People everywhere. People yeah. And they everywhere. have a limit. So you'll have to wait if there's too many people in there. You yep. have to wait. Um, so you get have up to and go buy, early. Yeah. And you have to buy the ticket, which you can do this ahead of time. Yep. For Wayna Pichu, which is like if you look at the, ma- which if you guys post a picture, you want yeah, to po- post it of the city, you can see a higher mountain in the backdrop of the city on the left hand side. That's Wayna Pichu. That's the highest point up there. Um, and that is, we didn't get to go up there because by the time we tried to get our ticket for that, it was already sold out. Okay. Um, and our knees were done. Yeah, we were kind of glad. We were like, ah, yeah. oh, too bad. Thank, a, thank a God. This is sold out. <laughs> Gosh. It's so steep, apparently, that like halfway up, there's a rope that you have to use to wow. pull yourself up cool. as you climb. I, I put a rope on my stairs at the house. <laughs> I'm going to go up this thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go up You're that like thing. You're scaling down uh. the steps. <laughs> you got to get one of those chair lifts things. Oh, I, I, <laughs> can I carry it to Machu Picchu? <laughs> So, are you guys interested in the the trek? Like, can I take you through the trek, or you want to hear more about the city of Cusco? Or uh, no, let's let's talk about the trek, and then I want to talk about your uh, your likes and dislikes overall. Sure, I want to sure. ask you also. Yeah, so, how long do people need and at at Machu Picchu? Like, do people stay there all day, or is it just like a few hours? A few hours. You okay. could stay all day. We didn't because it was the last day. He's going to take you through the trek. Okay. Yeah, Machu Picchu was the last day. And y'all were just tired. <laughs> we were exhausted. Yeah, yeah. But if that's all you're doing, you could stay there all day. Or, okay. And if you're taking a plane to yeah. Aguas Caliente, which is what we're going to do if we do this. True. And then you get on a bus and then you get on a train. Yeah. These are all options of things that we can do. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So uh, starting out, everything's early. Everything is like four to five in the morning, so just Sounds be prepared terrible. for that. If you're uh, it was awesome. if you're not a good early riser, <laughs> they have this thing called coca tea. The, <laughs> it's cocaine. <laughs> it was the best tea and thing it was the ever. Best. I love it. It's a leaf. I was jacked up on coca leaf the entire time. Oh, it was awesome. Coca tea. Oh, Which is illegal. Man, so awesome. It's illegal to bring back. We couldn't. Bring of course it, it is. Because <laughs> it's a drug. It's a leaf. It's a plant. It's a. Oh, I love the applause. Uh, let's hear it for cocaine. <laughs> it's just a plant. But um, so anyway, we're like we're in the middle of a plaza, and then you go into something that sort of looks like a mall. There's all kinds of different shops and amenities, and there's a glass room that says Salk and Tie. We meet in there with a group of people we've never met before, John and Heather, and we meet the Mountain King, Carlos. Uh, shout out to Carlos. Carlos was. So he's explaining he's, day one. But don't know who it trek. is because he's the only Carlos in Peru. Yeah. Right? No, no. He's the only Mountain King. True. Carlos the Mountain uh, King. Yeah, I bet I bet there is a Carlos the Mountain King. There's a Juan the Mountain King. There's a Jose the Mountain King. Every single one of them calls themselves the Mountain King for, for their other group. If probably. y'all walked over to that other group, that guy was calling himself Mountain King, too. <laughs> probably right. Probably right. <laughs> I don't know. I, I believe in Carlos because by the time we were done. That's his job to make you but True. by the time we <laughs> were done good. he was like a superhuman and then i was just like this normal person who barely got through this at 30 how old is carlos i don't even know 36 36, 36. okay one one watch what i do with these gringos <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna beat them down all day no, the gringo killer there's a trick <laughs> it's called the gringo killer it is. Yeah. It yeah. Sounds we didn't like take all that. of them. He's like, yeah. take these newbies down on this trek. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's for. That's what they made it for. So we meet up with this guy. You got to hand him $500 because <laughs> <laughs> before. <laughs> this is his view of it. He's oh, like, we just show up. We got to pay $500. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Four o'clock this, in the morning. Is this after the cocaine leaves? <laughs> <laughs> <four o'clock in laughs> you, you get many cocaine leaves you want. Give me $500. <laughs> So you pay before, and then you have to pay in person. So, <laughs> Oh, my God. So that was a shakedown. Yeah. Y'all got a shakedown on the way. It's true. From Gene's it's perspective, true. his is like, I was just paying money. No, you <laughs> pay half, for half of the trek before to book it, to, like, s- secure your space. And then you pay the other half when you get there, before we start the trek. So he and then goes, if you want some food, if you want to get on a donkey, it's 120 <laughs> souls. Yep. So they tell you, he, they do say, like, 
you know, did y'all bring y'all's aside, wallet? Right. Yeah. Basically. <laughs> yeah. Basically. Did you get some and money then, transferred? Uh, Shakita actually didn't bring the wallet. So I had to walk back up to the Airbnb, <laughs> which was up 80 <laughs> flights of stairs oh. at three in the morning, one in the morning. It was pretty late at night and then come back down. <laughs> By myself, y'all I didn't, didn't know because y'all jacked up on coca leaves. <laughs> yeah, we had no was, idea. Like, I was. Cool. He wasn't having enough. That's why he got sick. So oh, he basically <laughs> goes over this rough rundown of what we're going to do. He's like, guys, you know, it's going to be easy. The hardest part's the second day. Then we're going to go to the jungle. It's going to be a little bit warmer. You're going to want to bring these clothes. He notifies us we're going to have a pack mule. So you're not carrying everything that you have. You can actually give them a portion. And they'll put it on the horse. That comes with it. Which we didn't know. We didn't know we, that. We assumed that everything that we packed in our backpacks, we were going to be carrying the entire trek. So we packed so light. Mm. Oh, yeah. And it was still heavy. But we really didn't. We weren't as prepared as we would have liked to have been because we didn't realize that there would be a pack. That's meal. good information. Yeah. 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 Definitely. You For can any of those bring... idiots that are listening to this that are going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't going to be me. Do it. You can bring the whole separate luggage. Oh, yeah. I would. I'd bring a rolling suitcase. You could. And they let you leave, they let you leave some in the office, like if, the day before the trek. And then if you want the stuff, the extra stuff that you want on the trek that you don't want to carry, you pack into that. Because you got to think, you're going to be gone five days. You're not going to have an Airbnb for just your stuff. So your stuff's yeah. got to come with you. Yeah. You keep it in the office or you put it on a mule. You don't have to pay any extra for it. Yeah. So he's like, we're going to pick you guys up at 430 in the morning in an unmarked van. And we're going to drive <laughs> for three hours. <laughs> oh, man. And you Bring do. your cash. You do. Yeah. Wow. You drive for three hours. And uh, oh, as I gosh. woke up, we're literally going into the clouds. So you're going up the side of the mountain on switchbacks in a van. And then you're in the clouds. You're looking off the edge. There's no guardrails. <laughs> It's just van, road, death. And you're going around these, <laughs> you're going around well, these just, corners. I just a laugh. <laughs> you're going around the corners, and um, you end up at a little home restaurant. And he says you should support the people there. So you order food there. We bought walking sticks that we were going to bring home. We left them on the train. <laughs> <laughs> we did. It was so sad. So you, uh, he stops the van. Everybody gets their stuff. And anyone who packed heavy... Man, I know they regretted it that first day because man, just like these guys walking. do this. This is what yeah. they do five days a week, three times in a one month. Yeah. So he's hiking 50 plus miles three times in one month. Yeah. So he starts this unnerving walk like he's just <laughs> one foot after the other. But he's so far ahead. And I'm just like, why can't I catch up with this guy? My legs are longer. <laughs> I'm actually kind of jogging and he's still ahead of me. By the time he stops, I'm out of breath. I'm soaked. Half of our team is nowhere in sight. It takes <laughs> oh them God. another five minutes to walk up. So now everyone's starting to get the pace of things. We're keeping up. He educates you along the hallway, speaking about what's sacred, what you can eat. Mm -hmm. um, he talks about the mountains and what it used to represent, what it means now. Uh, mm -hmm. There's three sacred animals, the condor, the puma, and the llama. They love llamas out there, man. <laughs> They'll sell you a sexy llama picture in a minute. <laughs> it's a snake. It's a snake. <laughs> Was it a snake? It's a snake. Snakes for wisdom. Oh, yeah, we ate the puma. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't actually a puma. But uh, by the time we got to our first base camp, uh, I was exhausted. I'm just like, man, this is incredible. I didn't think it was going to be this difficult. But the view, it looks like a desktop background. It's yeah, just, okay. it's unbelievable. If you stare at the mountains, you literally get vertigo. It feels like they're coming towards That's the you. coca leaves, but yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. So, so we true. get there and we have our three-course meal. Um, and he's like, all right, guys, get ready. We're going to walk up to this lake. And you can literally see the lake. But it's like another. You can see the mountain that the lake's behind. You can see it, and it's like it's almost like straight up in the air. And you're like, wait a minute, we're walking up there. <laughs> like, oh yes, can you we are. actually walk up there? Is that a thing? <laughs> yeah, that honestly, uh, oddly enough, that was the hardest uh, part of the trek for Why me. Why did you say oddly enough? Because that because, sounded like the hardest. Part no, of the because trek. it oh, no, got way harder. Rough. Because it got way harder. The first day we only ended up doing 12k. We didn't do – that was our shortest day. K. Yeah, the first day was our shortest day, and they kind of wanted to wean us – I mean, like, like edge that's, us into it, That's I feel like, like seven miles or something. Yeah. yeah. Some people train so, for 5Ks. Yeah. The uh, regular day was twenty between 22 and 26, so it was over 50 miles yeah. total. It was just a, around 50 or whatever. So the first day was the shortest, and that, la that, that part that we did after dinner was only, like, a 5K. It was only a 5K. Only 5K. So, but it was straight up, and this is why it was the hardest part. 
because of this guy. So we're hiking, <laughs> right? And we noticed, <laughs> we noticed that our, our guide, he kind of takes some weird routes. And in our mind, we like, you know, always go a straight line to any distance. That's it's always going to be the shortest, right? It's not true. So mm. the guide knew what he was doing, but we were like, we're not following that guy. He's trying to take us the hard way. <laughs> so I follow Gene. Gene goes around the side of the mountain. Everybody else is over here behind us. We're over here. We end up on the side of the mountain that literally, if you sit down, you would start sliding back. Yeah. <laughs> and, we're, and we're hands climbing. And feet yeah, we're literally up. climbing hands and feet. And I'm like, Gene. I was like, I don't think this is right, Mr. Dude. Frodo. I think we're going the wrong way. I was like, where that. are we going? going up. She said that. I was like, everybody else is walking normal. Everybody and else is heart- laughing. At you, actually. <laughs> yeah, and like, I feel like my heart's about to explode. That's when I decided, like, Gene is not the trek leader. He's <laughs> not no. the mountain king. No, yeah. I learned a thing that day. <laughs> I did. Oh, that is great. But when we got to the top with the lake, the view was beautiful, man. You got snow caps in front of you, and then the lake comes from the snow Pachamama? caps. Pachamama? Pachamama. Pachamama Lake. Hey, hey, you can't say that. Can't <laughs> say, can't say that. <laughs> oh, my yeah. God. Pacha is, na- is like nature, um, I think. Pacha, it's like uh, Gaia, so like, like earth, mother of the yeah, earth. Yeah, like earth, mo- mother earth, mm-hmm. basically is what it meant. And it, the water is melted from the ice caps. It's freezing cold, beautiful, super clear. This I is when everyone's taking it. their pictures and their selfies. Yeah, did y'all take a bunch of pictures? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Okay. We got oh, pictures yeah. of all of this. Pictures yeah. for days. And then there's a lot of stacked rocks. So that's what they do now. Instead of bringing uh, blood sacrifice or um, you carry a rock from the base of the mountain up to that point. Dead. And then you stack it. It sounds like some horse manure. Sacrifice. <laughs> yeah. There was a yeah. lot of that, too. <laughs> I would sacrifice. Yeah. There was a lot of horse manure. There yeah. was, man. <laughs> So that was day one. We yeah. hiked back down. We died a little bit. And honestly, <laughs> down is worse than up. Oh, yeah. It's so much worse because you have to use uh, your quads to stop you from falling down the mountain. And I would not know how to do that. Yeah, your <laughs> knees. Like it's your the knees. knees. Oh Climbing up, you're tired, you're burning, but you can push through a burn, you know. But coming down that joint pain, you're like, and you know what it was? We didn't, we didn't get walking sticks. We had one walking staff that we bought, but we didn't do... The metal sticks. Definitely walking sticks. You need those for down. Yes. Not for, not for the climb up like you would think. You really need them for going down. You kind of use them like crutches to take a lot of the pressure off the knees. And you can see where you're going, but you're like, I still got 30 minutes to get there. It's right <laughs> there, and I just want to run to it, but you can't. Yeah, wow. So end of day one, um, the, the, um, the sky domes were the coldest. That was, oh, that was a really cold night. Mm-hmm. You could see your breath all night, but they do provide you with a sleeping bag and an insert. You can bring your own sleeping bag, a warm insert and sleeping a heavy bags blanket. Extra. And a heavy yeah, blanket. it is. It's it 20 is. souls. Yeah, it is. It was $20. 20, 20 American dollars. American, yeah. yeah. Really? <laughs> so, um, really cold night. I did not sleep. I think it was all jacked up on coca leaves. Of course you were. <laughs> um, <laughs> I didn't even need to sleep. I, I didn't need no sleep. sleep. <laughs> sleep was overrated at that point. Then at 4.30 Why in the morning. Why are we hanging right now? <laughs> 4 30 in the morning he's knocking coca tea, coca tea. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wake tea. yourself up every day you wake up to coca tea day two was interesting because we i'm not doing all that. <laughs> yeah. day two was interesting because we hiked all the way up to that's where we hiked up to sulkentai that's um the main attraction of the tra- of that inca trail um we hiked all the way up there and by the end of the day we ended the day in the andes jungle so oh, we wow. experienced two different yeah, seasons cool. in yeah. that one day yeah. That was the longest trek day. It was 26K that day. Um, 26. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he meant to. He's like, second day is the hardest. It, it was, was It was a challenge mentally and physically. <laughs> and then like anytime, anytime yeah. you slowed down, he was like, remember, you're on vacation. You paid for this. <laughs> <laughs> Every time. Oh, I'd be like, whipping that guy. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't be able to catch you him. You couldn't catch him. <laughs> <laughs> you could not catch him. Nope. Um, <laughs> my favorite thing about day two, though, was the sights. Cool. The being up there, and we saw an avalanche. I actually got a recording of Active an avalanche. avalanche. Oh, that's kind of cool. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. snow caps. But the, then, if you go back to the spiritual aspect of it, he was showing us how Sulkantai is the second biggest mountain, Pachamama's third. And then there was another one that was first off to the side. We had to bless each of those mountains. But I asked him, What have you noticed? throughout the years of doing this. He's been doing it for eight years. He said, um, those snow caps used to come all the way down. He's like, now there's a quarter of it left. 
Hmm. So during our blessing, we were asking for mankind to change their view on global warming and see that it's affecting. This is a global warming plug, if you didn't know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we got that. Yeah. I'm just saying, it's no. it's, it's, when you're there and you actually it's, see you, it. You see yeah. the reality of it. Yeah. You're like, wow, it's real. Yeah. yeah. All right, day three. Day three. Day, day three, we began in wait a minute, wait a minute. the jungle. <laughs> day two. No, we can't. No, we finished we, day two. You got to speed we along. Had, going down to the jungle, that's when we got injured, the knees. Anyway, <laughs> going to the jungle was no easy task. No. Going up was difficult, but going down, you just, you wanted someone to carry you. It was, that was bad. So day three, we woke up in the jungle. Biting flies. Yeah, but we... So don't forget your bug spray. And don't forget you paid for that. <laughs> yeah, you did. And you paid for it. Yeah, you did. <laughs> so love it. Um, we actually couldn't get our bug spray be- through um, customs. Because, again, we packed everything that we thought we were going to carry on our back. We didn't check any bags. So we had a little, like, four-ounce bottle of bug spray. They wouldn't let us get it through. <laughs> so, um, And we didn't find bug spray until day three. So we were bit up pretty bad. But we started day three in the jungle. We woke up, we hiked through a bunch of coffee plantations, which was awesome. We got to try some really good Peruvian coffee first thing in the morning. It was so Uh, amazing. That wasn't day three, babe. That wasn't day three? (laughs) No, that was day four. Oh. Yeah, what was day three? What happened day three? Day three, we woke up and said goodbye to the horsemen because the one who carried your bags, the horse guy, there was a guy. Yeah. yeah, And you have to tip him. (laughs) Of course. 20 souls. have to. (laughs) But you you tip them as you're leaving. And um, then they put the stuff in a van, so they drive it the rest of the way. Uh, day th- day three, we were walking along uh, this river, and it was another, what would you say, 15, 20K? When did it was 22K the, sec- the third day. Okay, so what I found is when you're going downhill, instead of walking downhill, if you gracefully fall downhill, <laughs> it's a lot easier on the knees. You'll see what I mean when you're in it, because your knees hurt with every happen. step. Uh, yeah. <laughs> First of all, I will never know what that is. Oh, and then, yeah. There's so many things wrong with that. There's nothing that graceful that I can do. Uh, the only thing I can I've, do out of any of that sentence is fall. I've seen Troy gracefully fall gracefully and his whole body turn purple. So. <laughs> right. Gracefully break a hip. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'll be honest, we got uh, we got about 75% there, and there was this huge construction area we had to walk around, and our guide was just like, hey guys, oh, yeah. I got this van, <laughs> we're going to get in this van, and we're going to the to the food. And we were like, cool, because we yeah. were exhausted That's right, day by three then. was the hot springs. So yeah, day was three springs. was actually only a 20K, it was our shortest day, other than the first day. <laughs> and we stop, ended stop the saying day, how many Ks is this. <laughs> <laughs> we ended the day at a hot spring. And it was so amazing. It was a natural hot spring. Um, and the water was probably like in the 70s, like 75. Yeah, there was, they were hotter. Degrees. Some were um, Fahrenheit. body temperature. One was a little bit warmer than that. And then there were some cold fountains. Um, very, it was perfect for the for mi- the middle of the trek because it was almost like getting a day of recovery. Yeah, yeah. your for joints your felt so much better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was a little spot. Then day. after you get out, you get bit up by biting flies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're everywhere. Uh, all right, going to day four. We okay, got to so start moving along. So here. day okay. four was the coffee plantations. Okay. So mm-hmm. day four, we went through the coffee. Plantations. And then you really jacked up because you yes, eat coca leaves, coca leaves, and coffee. And coffee. And coffee. Mm. I felt amazing. <laughs> uh, I felt like I could take over the world at that point. <laughs> I led the pack, man. He did. Gene did too. He felt good that day too because he he pack. shirt off, shorts, uh. in the middle of the jungle, just plowing along. I was like, "Are you okay up there?" He said, "Hey, yeah, give me that coca leaf." <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. Let's go. So, Gene, when were you sick? Oh, was it um, every morning? Okay. Before, well, every morning. So I had a headache. The throwing up was only was he never threw up on the trek. Okay. That okay. was the three days of ac- the that we acclimated. Oh wow! So you were started. still better. Yeah, yeah he was still way better. Okay. Way wow. better. But also, uh, Heather had that gambit. She had like a cocktail of Cedron, um, Advil, ibuprofen. Lee. Yeah. So bring bring your bring your headache medicine, your tension headache yeah. medicine. Mine comes in a bottle and lots yeah. of tums, <laughs> lots of tums, lots of tums. Because their food, the spices and everything, Just it's so herbs. good. Good but stuff. But your stomach does not agree. Yeah. Just stuff we're not used to. Stomach eating. does not agree. 
So day four, uh, we went through. The day coffee. four was the first day we saw Machu Picchu. Yeah, from the from distance. The track, yeah, like you. There's a picture of us standing on a ridge, and you can barely make out the the ruins, but you can see the structure of the mountain. And where we were is a place called Albamba. Albamba. It's the last known city that the Incans had kind of got ran off to. Yeah, because they never the Spaniards when they when they conquered. Uh, Peru, they never found Machu Picchu. Yeah. It stayed hidden. Um, and a lot of people, yeah, it was, instead of... it was of, hidden until really yeah, recently, until like 100 years was, ago or yeah, something. Yeah, just until years recently. Ago? Yeah. yeah. What was the guy's name? Oh, don't ask me that. <laughs> I thought you would know. You're <laughs> good with names. he was that guy, man. <laughs> they had trains named after him and everything. Yeah, but anyway, so Albamba is like the last place. They wouldn't go back to to Machu Picchu because they didn't want to leave the Spaniards there. So that was the kind of the last place that they kind of held up before they all kind of became extinct. And there's such a conflict there mm-hmm. between Spanish and uh, the native. Like the guy, who, or Carlos the Mountain King, we met his his grandfather on, on the, the trek. trek, and he didn't speak any Spanish. He only spoke the native Incan language. Yep. Oh, wow. That's kind of cool. Yeah. yeah. That's really cool. We were wondering, we didn't ask, but we were wondering if the um, guides, if they had to be of Incan descent, because you have to have, you have to know so much. There's so much not, um, information that he shared with us, mm-hmm. even knowing the route. I mean, it was sacred for years. Carlos ran the Incan trail in four hours. Yeah, he ran it the whole Which time. is like really good. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so... So um, day five. Yeah, day five. So we we ended day four in... Aguas Caliente. Thank you for pronouncing that. Right, but before we got to Aguas, there was the train. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, let's hear about the train. Now you're talking. Carlos assumed that everybody was going to want to take the train because we're dead. And uh, he's like, all right, everybody takes the train. And Shakita and I are like, we're going to walk. And we said we didn't want to be those guys because yeah, if, you were. You if, were those guys. <laughs> we weren't going to be. If we walk, then he has to walk. Yeah, we were going to let everybody. So we were know. like, if he wants to rest and nobody else wants to walk, we'll take the train. But Ben, good old Ben. Canadian Ben. Ben was amazing, too. Ben, he wanted to walk. So we was like, all right, we'll walk, too. Then the, um, what's my man's name? George? George. George said, all right, I'll walk with you guys. George is Greek. So, yeah, Greek. So jo- George, Shakita, and I. Basically walked together, and Ben was just trucking. I mean, Ben disappeared in the first 15 minutes. It was a two-hour walk, and Ben, we never saw him until we got to the place. Wow. But um, as we're walking. He won. He won, y'all. He did. Yeah. No, he no, went. Ben's We let him win. We were like, all right, bro, you got that. <laughs> he's he's saw beyond you. the winner. Uh, <laughs> as we're walking, the rest of the group are waiting on the train. The train is like almost two hours before it comes. So we actually got there before the train. Oh, wow. Yeah, we yeah. got there cool. way so, That's interesting. Train. I was like, I just want to get where we're going, where the food is, because I'm hungry. And I'm, I'm <laughs> So did y'all get there and, got, and y'all ate? We did. Well, yeah. as we, we were getting there, we got to this point where Carlos told us to wait. He's like, I'll catch up. And we're like, what does this guy mean, catch up? And then we're sitting at the spot where he wants us to meet. Seven minutes later, <laughs> Carlos comes running down the same path. We just walked. He ran the whole thing. And he ran the whole thing. Oh, man. We were power walking. We were walking fast. Yeah, we did it in like an hour and 30. It was a two-hour <laughs> walk. So we got there pretty quick. He runs up, and there's this dog like barking at him because he's running in. He just takes his hat off and slaps the dog in the face. <laughs> it's like, he's just so nonchalant. He's like, you guys ready? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, man, I guess. So we're, we're walking up to our Airbnb, and Ben's sitting up there drinking a beer at a restaurant like at a table, and we're like, Ben? And he's like, hey. <laughs> he's like, I figured you guys Toast. had to pass through here. Because <laughs> yeah. I didn't really know where I was going, but I heard Aquas. So I just, <laughs> I stopped to get a beer, figured you passed by. So we actually ended day four being able to sleep in it in uh, like a, a hotel. Yeah, hotel, which was awesome. We With got hot, hot water. showers. Oh, it was yeah. nice. So we stayed there that <laughs> night. And then day five, which was the last day, was Machu Picchu. So technically, we could have hiked. From the Airbnb or from the hotel to Machu Picchu. It was about a 40 minute hike, but it's all on a road. It's literally like hike through the the city. Yeah, and I didn't there's really buses hike through running the city. right beside you. Like it's, it's slick and scary. Yeah, I didn't want to hike through the city. So we took the bus that day. So yeah. Carlos said, everyone to wake up four o'clock in the morning, get to the bus station, get your ticket, get on the bus. Ben wakes up maybe an hour earlier and starts walking. At three in the morning. So Ben walks to Machu Picchu. Us and everyone else takes the bus because by now your knees hurt so bad. Walking's uncomfortable. Yeah. Ben's a man. Yeah, he was. Man. Yeah. He's, I want he to be Ben when I grow up. He trained in Canada. He's in 25, 26. Mm-hmm. 
something like that. Shout out to Ben. And so uh, we take the bus up to Machu Picchu. There's a pretty good sized line, but nothing like it could have been. We wait in line, and while we're waiting, Ben comes up the hill, and uh, we get into Machu Picchu, and he takes us up to the portion where you can see the pictures with the mountain in the background and gives us the history of it. He educates us on everything, and it's pretty dead because we're like the first ones in there. And about 30, 45 minutes later, it's boom, Disney World, just packed. Hmm. Yeah, it fills up pretty fast. So we we had the options of walking to the Sun Gate, uh, Winnipichu. Uh, we did none of those. Um, <laughs> we, time. Because we were exhausted. Yeah. We walked down to this actual city area, and we limped around to find the exit. <laughs> That's what we did. Seriously. <laughs> that was how we explored we yeah. we limped around to look for the exit. I wanted like I could see spots from like I want to go there, but I just know what there is going to do to my knees. Yeah. I think we'd be seeing different spots. Oh yeah. <laughs> so if I you know, do, like black spots. No, I would be fine because I would have taken trains, buses, <laughs> helicopters, true. whatever else. All the modes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, y'all drop it off here. Walking. Yeah, yeah, on it. Yeah. So I, honestly, I the, that was the one thing I disliked was that the trek didn't start in Machu Picchu. I would have loved to have yeah. started there, been able to explore with fresh knees, and then go on the crazy trek. Because the trek was amazing, and I'm glad we did it, but... Oh. Yeah. yeah. So if you would have went the other way, would it have been significantly easier? Like more downhill no. or no? No. Mm-mm. It would have been it would have been the same, okay. but just... Because you're going over, like, up and down Yeah, up peaks. and down. Yeah. It's yeah. constantly up and down. I would say because we, got, we were driven to the first portion of it. Going up that light, that's day two hike mm-hmm. coming from the jungle in reverse. Nah, I probably would have quit. <laughs> <laughs> probably you can't quit. quit though. That's yeah. the thing. What that's ha- what I'm. Yeah, there's just so many times where you're just like, I don't want to do this, but I can't do anything else. You're in the middle of the jungle. You no got to walk. No, you yeah. got to. It felt like basic. It felt like basic training. Like you were in some kind of a survival mode. <laughs> so what did then you? Then you got cell service like? up there. That cell service. Oh my yeah. gosh, that you, was the funny get thing. The Carlos was on the phone the whole time. He was. That's an, that's something that kind of bothered me. I chose to go off the grid with not being on any media, not because we couldn't, but because I just wanted to take a break from it. There was Wi-Fi all through the mountains. <laughs> yeah, there was. Wow. Every yeah, stop, was. every little stop that we had, free Wi-Fi. Like oh, I was yeah. like, this everywhere. Is, I'm like, who what? laid this? Like, How do you? Oh, yeah. Who came up here with? Seriously, I, I, who hooked the equipment up? No, up here? I'd, I'd have had a helicopter. I mean, if, if you get Wi-Fi, I can get a helicopter. Right? Yeah. No, I got enough. I got enough room on my credit card. Just yeah. try to buy a helicopter and get that thing here. To rent a helicopter? Yeah. No. You look for me. I'm gonna be the one sitting in the middle of the road by myself. Order Uber Eats and a helicopter. Wow. Yeah, yeah. helicopter. You go by McDonald's on the way up here. They had a McDonald's in in Peru too. Course, when yeah. We were in Cusco. McDonald's were everywhere. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, yeah. Cusco had a McDonald's and a KFC, and we were proud to say we did not eat there. Wow. Mm-mm. Nope. We kept we did it not local. Do it. All Which, right. So we like to do final thoughts, and, and we're at, at about the end of, of our time for this podcast. So why don't why don't you two do your final thoughts uh, in like a minute or less, and then Lee and I will wrap it up, and we'll get out of here. So Jane, why don't you start? Okay. Um, I would say that. I really enjoyed my spirit, my experience hindsight, looking back at it. I'm like, I really went through something that was, um, challenging and beautiful. It was a rarity. I'd love to be able to tell my kids about it, but if you're going somewhere to just relax and get away from a stressful day, <laughs> uh, don't hike five, five <laughs> days in yeah. the mountains. Dude, and, I ain't hiking five minutes and I'm trying to get away <laughs> from a stressful day. Seriously, man. Yeah. The good food, uh, cheap massage. Uh, I don't even like to climb the stairs to the bar. <laughs> <laughs> what you said. It was a, it was an enjoyable time. I did enjoy it, though. It sounds like a diarrhea and headaches are great. <laughs> I'm cleansed now. Yeah, you can't make a new man. <laughs> I'm cleansed, man. Yeah. Lost, that was that was Gene's sacrifice. It was. He left a piece of his colon up there. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that just oh that was the wrong one. That just, what just happened. That was the laugh track is off, and I hit somebody's music. That's great. Uh, Go ahead, there. I have some similar. Um, it was an amazing experience. I, I'm so glad we did it. It was kind of like a once in a lifetime thing for us. Um, the different the different sites that we've seen, it's like something that I'll never forget. Yeah. Um, the food was great, but I would suggest that you bring digestive enzymes because <laughs> Tums. Yeah, yeah. Like just be prepared. And the more prepared you are, we didn't prepare everything. We kind of let 
um, the couple that we went plan most of the things. Um, in the future, we would want to do oh, more yeah. planning like, on our own. Oh, let's let's watch this. Here's what we're gonna do. <laughs> oh, yeah. Here's what we're gonna do to them. That's kind of what it felt like when we came back from the trek. We were in Cusco for three more days after the trek. And we had to come up with our own Airbnb. We stayed at a hostel. Oh yeah, hostels with multiple were not other people. fun. Really. Oh yeah, me and we're we're getting ready to, to go on this trip with uh, Lee and Miriam, and I hope that they don't give us up at the last couple of days of the trip. Say so y'all y'all were on your own. Well, yeah. you know what though, just a tip: you plan plan your stuff together, have a few things to do together, but but make time to be away from each other. Oh yeah, because we hate them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. <laughs> Have, yeah, can you we really did, be around yeah, this guy listen, for more than like listen, thirty minutes? We've no. <laughs> we've we've planned a lot of things together, and then we've planned a lot of things that we'll do separate from our wives. That's perfect. Oh. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> There's that. Well, There's Gene that. did get three massages. Oh, man. I did. He kept did. he kept disappearing. Oh yeah, he did. Into he back into back alleys to get massages. I was like, <laughs> that's, I'm like that's, is that what we're calling it now? Massages. Oh, like, another one. Oh, second yeah. one today. <laughs> it was eight bucks for an hour. Oh, oh man. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, cheap massages. I can't last an hour. Whatever. <laughs> wow. Gene, you can't say that either, but he does every podcast. Uh, all right, give us your final thoughts, Lee. Tell uh, us about what you think about Peru after this. So I, you know, I'm I'm still interested in it. I I think the hiking aspect is kind of cool. You know, I obviously want to do something that tailors more to what I would I would want. I know I'm not going to be able to hike five days. But, you know, if you could find something that's maybe a day or two or something like that, I think that'd be more fitting for me. Um, cause I'd, I'd love to see some of the stuff that you guys mentioned. Uh, but yeah, it, it's, it's something that I'm always going to want to see and always going to want to do. I think it's always going to be on my bucket list until I can finally mark it off. And, um, it, they just made me realize that I'm not going to do a five day hike. That's oh, for, yeah, sure. for but, sure. For sure. But sure. there's, there's definitely parts of it that sound pretty phenomenal. Yeah. Um, I can't wait to see some of those pictures too. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Send those and we'll, we'll post those. Sure. They'll be up by the time this podcast comes out. Uh, and we had talked about because we're getting ready to go to. We've traveled a lot together. and We're getting ready to go to Italy together. And we had talked about first oh, international first trip international together. Trip. We had talked about hey we're going to and last probably. <laughs> no, we had talked about doing uh, Machu Picchu. We did next year. Uh, now obviously it's moved to the bottom of the list. <laughs> uh, just well, right, and you booked two other trips right behind. <laughs> uh, yeah, exactly. Without you, um, right behind Australia. You pulled a but, Lee, but but. Uh, uh, I, I still think I would like to do it. Uh, I am. I would be down for like a half day hike. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and that's uh, that's about. And it. you still want to train for it? Oh yeah, no the altitude I, and the I terrain train alone. For it and, and I want to, want to get on a train and then get <laughs> off a train. That's what I want to train for it. Uh, yeah, so I'm I'm about. I'm not about all that hiking yeah. stuff. Uh, but I would like to be able to see some of the things that you've seen, so I'll have to do a little bit of it. But anywhere that I can ride a bus, take a train, take a trolley, a cable car, uh, take a helicopter, any of that uh, stuff alpaca. I want to do. Oh, yeah. yeah. I would I would love to see you have to have an overnight trip somewhere, no. like where you're camping no. camping for one night. That would be hilarious. Oh, no, I'm not doing all that. Yeah. I can, I can, I'm just not. One thing before, I, we did not mention – the Sacred Valley and Rainbow Mountain. We didn't get to see either of those, but those are two things. They're not extreme hikes. There's no crazy hiking to get to it, but they're beautiful, beautiful places within the vicinity that you would want to look into. All right. So we can do that. All right. So I'm going to I'm gonna start the music here, and you are going to give our motto, and we're going to get out of here, right? Yeah, let's do it. All it's right. better to go someplace that you hate than to not go anywhere at all. Yeah, so get out and go someplace. Go to Peru. Uh Pack your headache medicine. No, don't don't pack anything because you're just going to eat cocaine the whole time you're there. <laughs> Chew those coca leaves. Uh, oh, we forgot to tell people how to reach us. They can find us on at Why Would You Go on Twitter. Yeah. At Why Would You Go there uh, on Facebook. Instagram and Facebook. Yeah. At Age of Decision, if they want to find out about my novel, yes. they can follow Miriam at, at Travels with Miriam. Miriam's not here. And Miriam's got a blog too. She how can does, they find actually. you? And Shakita, I, it doesn't sound like it, but she is a fitness nut yeah. and she's you, and she actually uh it didn't sound like it from this but she actually has her own business where you can train with her to do all this stuff how can people reach you shakita um you can find me on facebook at shakita driscoll you can find me on instagram at shakita underscore d um i'm on youtube at shakita driscoll uh, and that's D R I S K I L L I L I L L. Yeah, I've Way misspelled that before. I've misspelled it before. <laughs> wow, it's not the first time. Way to go! Shut it! 
You know what's awesome though is people should check her out so they can see how in shape she is yeah. and how tough it must be. Yeah, mm-hmm. and yeah. yeah, it must be really tough. It's, yeah, and then they'll know that you know she's related die. to me. She's related to me. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's, that's so true. <laughs> we're, yeah, we're both Similar physical physics, specimens. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I think we're done. Yeah, you're done. Yeah, screw you. <laughs> All right. What's wrong with you? Anything else? Ah, I'm awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Italy's coming soon. 